But the important thing here about change and growth is sustaining it, the ability to sustain it, right? And keep it going, and, right? And that's what we mean by sustainable leadership. And just one last point that I like to make. When we think about sustainable leadership, I really want our audience here to think about three, three dimensions. First thing, authenticity, right? Responsibility and systems thinking. Now, why, why that? First and foremost, the easy one, responsibility. A true leader is responsible not only for yourself, but for everybody. And, and that's the important point. You're responsible for teams, your organization, the, the society, the ecosystem you're in, as well as your customers. But to achieve that, you have to be authentic. You have to think about who you really are, what your values are. And because as a leader, you're gonna have wear many hats, you're gonna have many dimensions. You have your personal life, you have your, you have your professional life. Let me share a very quick uh, story. Uh, one of my favorite stories about the leadership, Indra uh, Nui. Uh, who, uh, who's the former president and CEO of, of PepsiCo. And when the day that she was announced and became the president of PepsiCo, she went home and she was so excited about telling her mom. And she said, mom, I have something to tell you. The mom says, no, no, hold on. You, go, you get out the door and go buy some milk first. And she's like, what? Like, go get some milk. So a very obedient daughter, went to get a milk, came back. She was really fuming mad. She's like, mom, I had the biggest news to tell you. And you still made me go buy milk. She said, the mom says, yes. It doesn't matter that you're going to become the, uh, the president and CEO. Just remember you're still a mother, right? And that's your responsibility. So you must always remember your responsibilities, whether it's professional or personal. You've got to keep it together.